This episode is brought to you by 1010. 1010 is an exclusive collection of 10 one of a kind engagement rings designed by 10 of the most distinctive designers working today. Using only diamonds responsibly and sustainably sourced from Botswana, 10 design masters have each produced a set of 10 uniquely beautiful diamond rings, and they're available now exclusively at BlueNile.com. This exciting collection of truly unique, limited edition diamond engagement rings is available now only at BlueNile.com. This is Optimal Relationships Daily, episode 890, 10 Must-Haves for Organizing Kids' Toys and Craft Supplies, by Karen Lashewski of KarenLashewski.com. Hello, everybody, and welcome to this Friday edition of ORD. I am your host, Greg Audino, ready to end the week strong with a post for you parents out there, particularly you parents who are looking to bring more order to your home and look for new and effective ways to organize your children's belongings. I believe that's all parents. Uh, author Karen Lishewski will be helping us out with that today. Now, if that name sounds familiar, that is because she is formerly known for her site KarenSincerely.com, but she has switched her site to KarenLashewski.com, so be sure to head there to check out her new and improved material. But first, let's hear what she has to say in this post and start optimizing your life. 10 Must-Haves for Organizing Kids' Toys and Craft Supplies by Karen Lashewski of KarenLashewski.com Quote, Simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. End quote. That's by Leonardo da Vinci. If you asked me what the toughest part of decluttering and organizing my house has been, the answer would be simple my daughter's toys and craft supplies. I'll be very honest with you, it has been the least enjoyable part of this process. From my daughter wanting to keep everything under the sun, even if she hasn't used it in five years, to finding the space to keep the toys and craft supplies that we haven't parted with, it has definitely been interesting. During this process, I have done tons of research and used trial and error to find it easier to organize the toys and supplies. Personally, I am someone who doesn't like toys to be out in our living space, unless she's playing with them, and like to have them put away at the end of the day. This doesn't always happen, but a mom can dream. Since we live in a small apartment currently, I have had to get very creative with organization. Between the tiny pieces from Playmobil to the 30 paintbrushes, almost everything has a specific home now, and is so much easier to keep tidy. I mean, so much easier, guys. If you're like me and are on a journey to a more organized and minimalist home, I want to share with you 10 items that will change your organization game and make a huge difference when it comes to kids' toys and craft supplies. Number one, three drawer systems. If you don't have any of these three drawer systems, put them in your Amazon cart now. These are so great for organizing anything and everything. One of the best things about these drawers is that they're clear, so you and the little ones can see what's inside. I have a large one in my daughter's closet that has her shoes, Legos, and random toys in it. I also have two skinnier ones that has art supplies in one, and doll clothes, wooden blocks, and coloring books in the other. Number 2. Drawer Organizer Raise your hand if your kids love crafts. Mine sure does, and we have so many supplies, always. Drawer organizers are great for desk drawers and for keeping craft supplies in their place. These bins specifically are wonderful because they interlock and can be put together to fit any drawer size and space. Number 3. Labels I personally believe that you can never have too many labels. I know I'm not alone in this. One of the things that has made organizing so much easier is using labels on every single container and bin so my daughter always knows where things go. They have a ton of different kinds, sizes, and looks out there to choose from, but I love the look of the chalkboard. Number four, toy hammock. Stuffed animals can be super hard to keep organized and neat, especially when your kids have a plethora of them, which I happen to know from experience. I have these exact toy hammocks in our house to hold off all of the stuffed animals and keep them off the floor. One thing we did was, We only keep what can fit in the hammocks. If that means we have to purge and donate some animals, then we do that. It has really made a huge difference. Number five, small plastic bins. 
For small toys like Barbie clothes, LOL dolls, Playmobil, and puzzle pieces, these small storage bins are perfect. Stackable, clear, and sturdy, they make organizing toys so easy. Separate the toys and the little pieces into each bin and clearly label them so your kids know what goes in each bin. I found with bins these size that they are easy to find a place for, even in a small space like my apartment. Win-win. Number 6. Small Linen Storage Basket In my daughter's room, I put a linen basket on the floor, and I rotate books in and out of it, or small toys for her to have in there. It's just the right size, and can fit the perfect amount of books or toys in them. If you're looking for a pretty and practical way to organize some toys that can be in your kids' rooms, definitely try out these baskets. Number 7. Hanging Shoe Organizer You guys, if you only take one idea from this post, make it this one. A few years ago, when my daughter was really little, I saw this online and decided to try it out, and my mind was blown. I have used these shoe organizers to hold Barbies and also to hold accessories for Calico Critters and Boxy Girls. These organizers are inexpensive, cute, and can go on the back of the door in the kids' room. Number 8. Craft Organizing Box If your little ones love beads like mine does, you probably have already pulled your hair out and find them all over the house. Please tell me I am not alone in this. There are so many days when I feel like everywhere I walk, there's a bead on the floor. I mean, everywhere. These organizing boxes have made it so much easier to keep the beads away and organized. The compartments are adjustable and can be used for so many small toys or craft supplies. Number 9. Storage Rolling Cart Like I said previously in this post, I like when my daughter's toys and craft supplies are put away and not out in the living space. So, this storage rolling cart is perfect. Put your craft supplies and containers on the cart, and you can roll it into the room when you are ready to craft. This cart is a great size because it is big enough to hold plenty of items and small enough to fit in a closet. Score. Number 10. Plastic Puzzle Case Last but certainly not least is this plastic projector case that you can use to organize puzzles. These thin, clear cases can fit wooden puzzles in them and can be stacked on a shelf or at the top of the closet. Puzzles can be hard to keep all the pieces together and not lose any, so these cases are absolutely perfect for organizing them. You just listened to the post titled 10 Must-Haves for Organizing Kids' Toys and Craft Supplies by Karen Lashewski of KarenLashewski.com. This episode is sponsored by Apostrophe, a prescription skincare company for people that are ready to take their acne seriously. Prescription acne treatments really work, but they're hard to get. You have to take time off work and see a doctor on a weekday, then sit in line at the pharmacy. That is until Apostrophe, which is an online skincare service that treats acne, as well as helping you reduce redness, wrinkles, and even dark spots. And they help you hit those goals seamlessly. My treatments arrived extremely fast in some nice packaging, and it's truly a relief to not have to go to the pharmacy during the pandemic. The safety of receiving the treatment at my doorstep in itself is just really relieving. So to get started, just go to apostrophe.com slash ORD and click Begin Visit. Then use the code ORD at sign up, and you'll get $15 off your dermatology visit. That's APO. S-T-R-O-P-H-E dot com slash O-R-D and use that code O-R-D to get your dermatology visit for $15 off and we thank Apostrophe for sponsoring the podcast. A wonderful post from Karen today that is sure to leave any parent out of excuses uh, when it comes to organizing their children's toys and craft supplies. Needless to say, all these tips are absolutely wonderful and effective ways to declutter. For any parent who feels that Maintaining this sense of order is unrealistic, however, I do suggest getting your kids in on the fun. See if you can make a game out of getting all the toys back into their bins and cases as quickly as possible. Or try to find new and creative ways to stack or store the bins and cases after each time the toys have been put away. You can even ask your kids to come up with the games for cleanup that have prizes on the other side. You know, children don't hate disorder. They hate boredom. So, if you can combine this organization with fun, they're sure to participate, and you are sure to keep your home looking like it hasn't 
been hit by an atomic bomb, which is a good thing, right? Sure. So, good luck to parents out there as you try to keep things tidy. No easy task, but certainly easier now, thanks to Karen's post today. Time for us to get going here on ORD, but have no fear. We will be back after the weekend with more content for you on how to better all of the relationships in your life. On Monday, we'll be exploring concrete examples of how to sharpen your communication and get over arguments faster, so you don't want to miss out on that one. Be safe and have fun this weekend, everyone, and I will see you for 891, where your optimal life awaits.